so I have the Rabbit R1 and I'll be showing you how to turn it on. Now it's the first time I just took it out of the box and so to turn it on you just to need to press and hold the button on the side. So this button right here so just press and hold until you see the Rabbit logo and now you can set it down and allow it to boot up. There's the R1 animation. It's currently just uh, going through its fast boot sequence. So it wants us to press on the side. And then now we can go ahead and connect a network. But that is basically how to boot up your Rabbit R1. Now, since it's the first time, let's just continue with the setup process. So as soon as you boot it up, it's going to ask you to connect to a network. So it's currently detected a couple of networks here. And I can now go ahead and select this network. So you use the wheel to scroll. And then you can use this to select. So press that to select. Then it's going to prompt us to put the rabbit sideways to activate the keyboard. And then now you can go ahead and type in the password. Okay. So make sure you're holding it in landscape mode. There you go. So let's type in the password and then tap on the enter button and now it's connecting to my Wi-Fi. Well, it says uh, incorrect password. So let's try and re-enter that. So re-enter, select that. Let's try and type that again. Hopefully this time it's going to connect. There you go. So it's connected. And so now it's going to ask us to go to rabbit.tech to activate uh, rabbit.tech slash activate to link your account. So you want to go to a computer or a phone. So I'm going to use my phone. So I'll simply go to my phone, launch my browser. And then go to rabbit.tech slash activate. And then tap on go. Now, this is a website you're going to see. It's called Rabbit Hole, which is hilarious. And it's going to ask you to log in to your Rabbit Hole account. Now, since we don't have an account, we're going to tap on sign up to create a rabbit hole account. So I'll tap on sign up and then I'll enter an email address and a password. OK, so we just enter the email address. And then tap on go to create the account. So it's going to be a notice by selecting I agree below you agree to Rabbit's terms of service. So just tap on agree and tap on continue. Now that you've created an account, it's going to prompt you to check your email. So let's go and check the email for a link. So here's my email and uh, we should have a link here from rabbit hole. There you go. So tap on this link that says verify email. And once the email is verified, you can now go back and log in. Okay. So actually, seems we are still logged in. So just tap on empty space and it should take you to the login page. Now let's log into our account. So 
So I'm just gonna save my password and there you go. So we have now created a rabbit hole account. So tap on connect an R1 to activate this particular R1, okay? So here it says connect an R1. Enter your username. I'll just call mine Web Pro. And tap on continue. And then it's going to say scan the QR code with your R1 to activate your device. So this is a QR code I'm gonna scan. So on my R1, all I need to do now is select continue. So you can see continues in orange, which means it's currently selected. Let's press this button. And that launches the camera and now you can use that camera to scan that qr code okay so i'm just i'm trying to scan the qr code on the phone i don't know if i can get it to focus So for some reason, it's not scanning my QR code. All right, let me try and scan it in a probably less lit environment. Maybe there's too much light here and a lot of reflections. So let me try it somewhere else and then I'll come back. So now that we've successfully activated the R1, Let's scroll down and press continue. It's going to ask to create a passcode. You'll only need to enter it when you make a purchase. So I don't know, can you skip that? No, we can't. We have to create a passcode. Okay, so let's create a passcode. Uh, I'm just gonna use zero, 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 zero. Okay, and then I'll hit continue. That's going to be my passcode. Then I'll confirm by entering the same passcode again, zero, 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 zero. Obviously, I don't encourage anyone to use zero, 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 zero as their passcode. Just make sure you get a good passcode that's not easily guessable anywhere. So next, it's gonna ask us to press this button. Let's click double click for camera. So double click on this button and that should launch the camera. It's basically a tutorial on how, on how to use this thing. So press and hold to talk. Where am I? So it's not charging, but it's connected to network. It's going to ask us to, let's try and connect a cable to try and charge this thing. It has a type C port. So let's connect a type C charger like that. And now it's charging and updating apparently. So let's just wait that out. So the download is taking quite some time. So let's just be patient. So it's finished downloading. It's currently verifying the update. Well, it seems like it's a three stage process, which is taking really, really long. It's been almost 15 minutes now. So once it's done updating, which takes like about 25 minutes, then here we are on the home screen okay so you can just press that to take it to sleep and press that to wake it up double press to launch the camera like that 
then you can switch between the front and the back by just scrolling like that then you can press that to exit well that's that's to take a screenshot well i'm not sure how you exit out of here let's see let me take a look oh yeah it's another double press to exit out of the camera and then long press to ask questions what is the date today it seems like your message might be incomplete or unclear could you please provide more context or clarify your question anyway that's basically how to set up the r1 from rabbit and uh, i'll be making subsequent videos on how to do different things so make sure you check out the playlist and thanks for watching. Sorry about the video taking too long. It wasn't my fault.